so let me revise the separate equations separate equations of ax square plus 2hxy plus by square is equal to 0 or given by or given by ax plus y of h plus root of h square minus ab is equal to 0 and ax plus y times h minus root of h square minus ab is equal to 0. This is important point. And next important point is if h square minus ab greater than 0, then then these two that means they represent then they represent then they represent two distinct or different real lines real lines so next point if h square minus ab equals to 0 then they represent then they represent two coincident lines coincident lines suppose if h square minus a b less than 0 then they represent then they represent two imaginary not real imaginary lines but they pass through a real point that is origin real point that is origin okay so now so this is the just what we have studied in the earlier episode so just we recalled so for the sake of any competitive entrance examination these three points are very very important even this is also very very useful to find out the individual equations as separate equations of a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square is equal to 0. So now let us find out the sum of the slopes of the lines or product of the slopes of the lines represented by a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square is equal to 0. So let us find out now. So now to find to find sum of the slopes sum and product let us find out sum and product of the slopes of the slopes of lines represented by represented by a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square is equal to 0. Now how to 
find out so how it it is to be formulated so that means we need to develop the formula to find out some of the slopes of the lines and product of the slopes of the lines that means we need to deduce the formula so for the sake so we know that in the earlier theorem we know that this represents two lines which pass through the origin so that means let us consider one of the lines as y is equal to mx the y is equal to mx should satisfy this equation am i correct now so that means now suppose suppose the y is equal to mx be the one of the lines one of the lines you need not get any confusion because they represent two lines which passes through the origin the general form of the line which passes through the origin is nothing but y is equal to mx so now in the place of y replace mx so in the above equation from above equation we get as follows we get ax square plus 2 hx of mx plus b of mx all square is equal to 0 so providing here m does not equal to 0 only here so this we can write now ax square plus 2 hmx square plus b of m square x square equal to 0 just check the step so throughout from left hand side take out x square common this we can write bm square plus 2 hm plus a equals to 0 x never be 0 so since x does not equal to 0 x square also does not equal to 0 so we get bm square plus 2 hm plus a is equal to 0 here also one technique we can follow this can be obtained directly whenever you say y is equal to mx wherever x put 1 wherever y you put m see what do you get here put x is equal to 1 and y is equal to m what do we get bm square plus 2hm plus a equals to g this will be useful for entrance examinations so directly we got this one so now now what does the bm square plus 2hm plus a is equal to 0 represent it represents a quadratic equation in m so being a quadratic equation it possesses two roots let us say one is m1 and m2 m1 be the slope of the first line whereas m2 be the slope of the second line so we need to find out sum of the slopes that is nothing but sum of the roots of this quadratic equation so the sum of the roots of the quadratic equation easily you can find out so in the similar pattern in the similar manner the product of the slopes means m1 into m2 that is nothing but product of the roots of this quadratic equation that also very simple manner we can find out sum and product of the slopes of the lines which represents ax square plus 2hxy plus by square is equal to 0 so let us proceed now since it represents it represents a quadratic equation quadratic equation in m say m1 and m2 be the roots so now let us find out sum of the roots that is m1 plus m2 so regarding to this quadratic equation we need to say that 
माइनस कोइफिशियंट ऑफ कोइफिशियंट ऑफ एम डिवाइडेड बाय कोइफिशियंट ऑफ एम स्क्वायर सो ऑब्वियसली द एम कोइफिशियंट इज 2h वी गेट माइनस 2h बाय b so whereas the product of the zeros ah oh sorry product of the roots m1 into m2 is equal to constant term upon or divided by coefficient of coefficient of m square so that is nothing but a by b but regarding to the quadratic equation m1 and m2 are the roots but whereas as far as this pair of straight and concerned they are they represent the slopes of the two different lines that's why this is nothing but sum of the slopes this is nothing but product of the slopes so hence we conclude that sum of the slopes so that is m1 plus m2 is equal to minus 2h by b so better remember product of the slopes product of the slopes equal to m1 into m2 is equal to a by b so this is very very important i hope you might have followed